chainsaw if we get some limbs to cut and I'm gonna take you along I spent all day yesterday picking up the yard piling them into a pile but now Libby is complaining about that cedar tree that's down by her uh, kennel yeah she's tired of looking at it so we're gonna do some cleaning Here's where we're gonna start. I spent pretty much all day yesterday. I got a good start on it, but we're not there, are we, Libby? I mean, you've been demanding this get cleaned up, so got all this to cut up and pick up and drag out of here. And if you look way down there, you'll see I got a big pile already. And yesterday, I put a couple of shorts out, but I cut separated this from the stump it didn't fall back as well as I thought it would but it's down and also cut that one which you see they're still leaning so I'm gonna get some rope or something later see if I can't jiggle walk that off that tree yeah because I don't want that falling all right man I'm not uh, I don't know where Millie's at not doing anything yet as far as a fence until after their vet, vet, vet visit tomorrow because I don't know what that's going to cost and if Tilly is not pregnant she's going to be staying and getting spayed One of, I haven't seen Tilly this morning so I hope she shows up tomorrow morning Miss Millie's here somewhere she's found her a good sunny spot she's out laying in the sun somewhere but she's ready to pop at any moment all right guys let me get busy i can't sit here and talk to you guys all day you know that i got work to do doing sweet girl yeah you're sure different than when you first came huh and you can always put your ears inside out too you already got that one inside out yeah that's the latest fashion for dogs inside outness yeah it is that way you can hear stuff too you're so silly you're gonna go for your first car ride tomorrow what do you think of that I don't know if I'm gonna like it or not. Okay. I gotta get busy. I can't sit here and talk to your inside outness all day. Oh. This is one of them jobs that never seems to be done. Pull them out of here and I come back and it doesn't look any better. A lot of this is new fell out of that tree. Uh, 
and it's also a job that's going to take two or three days to complete. Huh. All right, I got to cut some of this up. There's my saw. noise from that tree so I'm gonna go over there and see if I can't persuade it to fall safely and there's my manure pile that I laid here that had dumped here uh, about a week before that tree fell so that'll come in handy all right let's go over here I don't don't want this thing falling and Millie was standing right there too so if we can get this thing on to lay down Let me see. Should be pretty safe out here. See if I can't. Yeah, that thing's caught pretty good. Uh, oh, oh, heard some cracking. Let's do some shake, rattling, and rolling. God, then I got a whole bunch more limbs to pick up. I don't know if I want it to fall. Man. 
next windy day it'll probably fall let me see <clears throat> There ain't a whole lot holding it. It's, it's, uh, it's wanting to go. Alright guys, let me go get the tripod and I'm going to really wail on this thing for a while. Let's see if we can drop it. Alright, you guys stay right there. Did y'all see that? Well, she dropped about maybe 12 feet. Yeah. This is when you wish you had a tractor. But I have managed to do everything around here without one. I got a tractor tire. <laughs> Fortunately, that ain't going to help me. <sighs> Look at all them limbs. Man. Yeah, it's standing on some of those, but it ain't, it's going to drop before this day's out. All right, let me go take a break and get back to work, man. Well, uh, what you guys doing? You got two bowls, why you guys want to eat out of one? Yeah, and I got to take your water away because you're not supposed to have any food the night before. In case you get your surgery tomorrow. Which, I don't know. And Miss Millie, she's, she's got to bounce back and forth to the bowls. The neighbor's dog will not shut up. <sighs> Driving me nuts, ain't it, Millie? Or Tilly. Whoever you are, Melly, Tilly, Sully. Yeah, we don't know. Did you just, did you just eat your supper? Yeah, now you need to let out a good belch. Yeah, that's how people know you ate. Huh, boy? Yeah, let out a big old belch. Billy, we gotta wait for Lily to get done before we get this milk bones. Yeah, he always gets one after supper. Let me see, 
Yeah, your bowl's empty. Girls eat slower. It's just how they are. As soon as she's done, you'll get it. Well, it's been a creaking and a popping, but it ain't fell yet. But it will. That's a lot of weight there. Now let's go see what I got done. Alright. Got all them broke free. I am out of steam. But at least we don't have the big giant stack of it now. I should be able to finish this up tomorrow. Then I'm going to get my brush cutter and cut all this weeds down get it all raked up real nice but it's uh significant 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 however you say it significantly better than it was and libby's happy and that dog next door i know you know at what point don't you just open the door and let it in so it shuts up but they won't do that and it's driving us not saying it live. Yeah. All right, let's take a shot from down here. You just about tripped me, Libby. So, yeah, I got quite a bit of it. Oh, but I've drug everything. I probably made 100 trips. Look at that big pile there. And uh, I don't got no more steam. So, we are done for the day. Uh... Let's go back here where I can get away from that yapping dog. <laughs> where you at, Waddles? It's a beautiful day. It's 65 degrees, and you guys are in there. Chick, chick, come on. They don't care. All right. Hey, I wanted to thank everybody who uh, have given donations for Libby or Tilly and Millie. Uh, I'm waiting to see what the vet bill is tomorrow before I go buy fence. Uh, now that fence that I'm putting up will, after Millie and Tilly are gone, by gone I mean up in Minnesota, and I'm still thinking about that. I don't know if I'm going to send them up there or not. But uh, that's going to be Libby's new yard. And with her, it needs to be five foot high fence. And I already got those eight foot posts back there. So I'm going to be using those. It's going to be a nice yard. Uh, I'm not going not gonna to have it look terrible. So, whew. I am just wore out, man. So many trips I took walking those branches. And then I'll tell you what wore me out even more is tugging on that tree. Man. Because I just couldn't walk by it and not tug on it a little. It's just, a, it, it's, that's what a man does, man. He hates seeing something like that. It's unfinished. All right, guys. Well, I appreciate you. Everybody that donated, uh, that helped me out tremendously. Like I said, We'll see what the vet bill is. That determines how much fence I buy. And some of the things I bought uh, are, it's like UPS, I haven't seen them in three or four days. And they're, it keeps saying that it's delayed due to the weather. Well, the weather's been clear for three days now, so I don't know what's up with that. But I got a heater coming. The whole month ahead looks pretty good. So hopefully we won't need heat too much. What about you, Tillers? Did you have to come get in the movie? You did, huh? Yeah, that's, a, that's a good spot. Just lay down right in the middle of the middle of the trail. Yeah. I guess that's as good a spot as any. All right. You want to say goodbye to everybody? Hello, subscribers and viewers. My name is Tilly. If you haven't liked this video, go ahead and like it. Please subscribe. And click the notifications if you want to be driven nuts by daddy's shorts. Happy trails. You gonna go see what she's doing? Huh? Well, that's your friend now. Yeah. Come here, Millie. What are you wearing? Oh, no. That is a spadooch. Those have been out of style forever. 
Nobody wears those anymore. They don't wear those anymore. You need to get up with the latest puppy dog fashion. Because you obviously don't know nothing about it. Alright.